Okay guys, today I'm gonna try to share with you what I know about uh, installing the uh, Minecraft server. Recently I, I helped my kids to install the Minecraft server on their uh, Chromebook. So uh, this, is, this is in general to uh, apply for any, any operating system as just Chromebook. Could be Windows, could be uh, Mac, but um, there's just a, a very simple tweak for a Chromebook. Uh, I would say a little bit more difficult, but hey, um, you can do this. Okay, so let's do this together. Um, so first of all, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, Minecraft website, which is Minecraft.net, and then you want to go to the download here. Okay, and then you can. Uh, download this Minecraft server uh, 1.8 this is new it's just been I think uh, launched about two days ago so you just click this one it will download and you just uh, say keep it okay and then go to the it's already downloading over there and then you want to see on the folder go to the file manager Open the file manager. We need to see this case it's, it's Dolphin. And uh, go to the download, should be there. If it's not there, then there's something wrong with it. Okay, so make sure it's there. Let's see, Minecraft server.1.8 over here. So it's already downloaded. Now, the next step if you uh, is you want to uh, put. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna delete this first. so annoying okay I'm gonna I'm just gonna delete this folder and move it to trash okay I already have a, a folder over here Minecraft server I already downloaded it so I'm just gonna show it to you how to do it again so you just want to uh, create another folder you uh, tap your uh, trackpad using two fingers or one finger and create new folder you can name it whatever you want mine let's just call it mine server uh, two because I already have the first one okay over there my server two and then you want it just to transfer the uh, uh, my uh, underscore server dot jar to that folder so you just tap it, you can cut. And then you go to home, you go to the folder, and then you tap it again, and then you paste one file. So, okay, so now the, the file is already inside that folder. Now, what you wanna do is to use a command uh, file. In order to do that, you open your uh, console, okay? Just gonna close this because there's too many tags over there, and then open a new one. Open your terminal, and then you use this uh, instruction. I hope you can see it. It's Java jar, Java desk jar, Minecraft underscore server, whatever the name of the file. Dot one dot eight dot jar. Okay, and then you just enter. Oh, unable to access. So you have to go to that folder so you uh, type cd mine server in this case it's two and enter okay once you're already inside that folder and then you type again the instruction that command which is java that's jar minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot jar enter i think it's going to ask you the password uh, I'm tired of talking, uh, but I hope you guys still follow me. Take quite some time. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. It says here on the uh, the log, it's failed to load u u l a dot text. It's fine. You just type stop. We're gonna close this, and then we're gonna open it again. Okay. And then you can go to the folder again. You can see one folder is being created, lock. 
and ULA.txt and server properties. You want to open the ULA.txt and then you change the ULA. A ULA equals false to true. And then save it. Don't forget to save it. Okay, and then you can close it again. Um, and then there's another thing here server properties. You can open it. I'm just going to show it to you. Hey, there's nothing here. What's happening? Okay. This is rather strange. I don't know what's happening here. Okay. I think you have to uh, execute again the command file. So do it again. Java dot jar Minecraft uh, underscore server dot one dot eight dot jar. Press enter again. And this time it should create uh, several more uh, files and uh, one more folder, which is the world folder. With the default world folder, folder that you're gonna play into the first time you're gonna play. Okay, so now it's uh, running right now. It's preparing this one error, and then you can type stop and then press enter. You can also click the X over here, but uh, sometimes I prefer to stop because when you press the X, it's just gonna close immediately. And sometimes the, the program is still preparing something. Like this one is preparing the spawn area. But if you tap the stop, it will wait until it finishes the process. And then you, it will, the, the software it will close automatically for you. So I think that's better. So just wait for a while. And meanwhile, you can go to the folder, inside the folder again, and see what's happening there. So you can see in here, there's several more files being created. Okay, and go back to the Java and saving chance and stopping server. Let's see, I think I think I have to uh, click stop and press enter. Um, I don't know why it doesn't stop it. Yeah. Stop it, server. Okay, that's great. Cool. You okay, can go inside again right here. And I'm just going to show you what's inside the server properties here. It's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Now it's already. Uh, so, uh, this one, there are several things you can uh, change. Like uh, I said earlier, the level name now is world. But if you want to have a different world, you know, it's called, let's say, animal world or adventure world, then you just. You just uh, that that adventure okay, world here over here, okay, and then you save it. So when you open the Minecraft server, it will load that particular world. But of course, you have to change. You have to put that world over here. This is the the default world. So whatever world you have, uh, you've been uh, building, you just uh, cut the entire folder and paste it over here and whatever the name the world that you have don't forget to open your server properties and change it over here and under level name so that's good uh, the server part is one you have to remember 25565 okay later you can use it the server IP this one you have to uh, also uh, put in the server IP how to do that is you just basically go to the console again and you type, I think, sudo ifconfig. Okay. And it's asking for a password. Just enter your password. Don't, please don't ask me what the password is. You should know your own password. Okay. So uh, over here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this one that you want to. The INET address, okay, under W, under WLAN zero here. I will highlight it. So in this case, it's one and two dot one six eight dot four zero dot seventy six. Okay, so this is 
your IP address. This is the one that you want to put under the server properties over here. So you put that one and six dot whatever the number is, okay? So you put it over there. Um, let's try. Let's try this one because I'm using the I'm at the public library right now. I don't know whether it's going to work or not. Okay, I'm just going to put this, uh, copy this, and uh, paste it over here. All right. All right, one and two dot one six eight dot four zero dot seventy six. Okay, and then don't forget to save it. And then this one also uh, forgot to mention. You can change this one. M O T D equals to. Right now the name is a Minecraft server, but you can change it to let's say uh, uh, Mochi server. I have to use that name. Okay, for this tutorial. And then you click save. And then you can close it if you want. You don't have to, but I like to close it just to keep it simple. And uh, right now, I think we're about done, almost done. So um, you can put it uh, again to the console. So again, the the way to activate the Minecraft server is to use this command. Um, as of now, I do not know how, how other way uh, to uh, to do it. So I'm just using this command to activate it. So every time you want to activate the Minecraft server, you have to go to the uh, console um, and then type this command: Java server Minecraft server dot one dot eight dot Okay. Um, later on, if I know a better way, a more uh, a simpler way, then I will make another video for that. But for now, this is the way. So you just uh, put in that comment and then enter, and then just wait. Uh, the, the Java will launch, and the Minecraft server also will launch. There you go. The Minecraft server will launch. Okay. So it's already there. And then let's wait for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to launch the um, Minecraft. Okay. Remember, this is the uh, Minecraft server, uh, the latest one, 1 1.8. So when you open the Minecraft launcher, uh, it has to be the same, uh, I think, version to 1.8. But don't worry about it. I think the uh, Minecraft, uh, it will automatically update to the latest version. So just wait for a little bit here. Almost there. Okay. And just click the play button. Almost done here. Yeah, I know it's a bit slow here. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing about Chromebook. Well, yeah. okay, multiplayer. Um, now you can go to add server over here. I don't know whether it's going to work, okay? Uh, so you put the server address. I forgot already. I think I can just paste it here. Where is that again? One nine two one six eight four zero seventy six. Okay, so one nine two one six eight four zero seven six. There you go. It's working. See this? Minecraft server, Moji server. This join server. As well. There you go. 
we are on the Minecraft server, right? I don't know where am I. I think I'm in the middle of the. Uh, I have no idea where am I. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Okay, but it's working. Um, the only uh, other things that you want to uh, make it work is to use this. Because right now, if you look at the, uh, the console, here, it's only 27% or 30% free. So the memory is very uh, small and limited. So you want to make the memory uh, much bigger than this. I think the dedicated, uh, the default memory is only about uh, probably 100 megabyte. So you want to, depending on your Chromebook, if you have two gigabyte or one gigabyte, you can do that. So uh, I'm going to give you how to increase the memory. So I'm just going to click stop first here. Okay. And then this is the I'll show you the comment that you can increase the memory. Um, it starts with the Java Jar 2. Uh, yes, the XMS. There you go. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this. So it's, it's this Java uh, minus XMX 1024M. Yeah. This is uh, dead designing uh, uh, about one, um, 1024 megabyte of memory to the for Minecraft. But if you have more, you can do it more too. And then uh, minus XMX the same thing 1024 m2 okay i can change this uh, much easier probably for you to just use uh, one giga and then this one is one giga too okay and then the rest is the same the rest is minus jar minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot jar and just click enter okay so if you have two gigabyte and you want to uh, uh, make available two gigabyte for Minecraft server, then you just uh, replace the one G to two G. That's simple, okay? But make sure you have that memory, otherwise it's not going to work. So now you can see here the memory use. See, it's ninety six percent free, so there's much more available memory. So in this way, I think you can play uh, better without uh, less lacking with your friend. And the other thing that I want to show it to you, so that's the IP address if you want, if you are at the same Wi-Fi. But what if you are on a different Wi-Fi? Then this is the IP address that you want to uh, uh, give it to your friend. So you just go to what's my IP, and go to Google. Okay, there you go. And then this is the IP address. It's called the public IP address or external IP address. So you want to give this to your friend, the 64.109.54, whatever it appears to you. Yeah, you can go to Google and just type what's my IP and it's, it appears there. So again, there's, there's two kind of IP. One is for the internal IP if you're playing just inside the same Wi-Fi. But the other IP is if you want to, uh, your friend is uh, at you know, different house or even different countries, then you have to give the public IP address. All right. So that's all. You want to post any question, comments, like, don't like, okay? Uh, to uh, see how I can close this.